Well, hi, this is just a quick tutorial to show you how to use um, 3D text in iClone or anything else that you want to make um, 3D with a bit of a transparent background. So, we're uh, going to start in iClone and we're going to basically put some text onto a 3D surface, a wall basically. 3D blocks, walls and floor, and we're just going to double click to bring the wall in, I'll explain later. Let's just uh, zoom out so you can see, so we have one wall. This wall in fact isn't actually going to hold much text, I'd like to put maybe two words on this for what I want to do, so I need to build up several walls. So I'm just going to do two to show you quickly. So we had another wall and move it up. What's important here is that I double clicked the wall so both walls end up in exactly the same position and all I have to do is raise them up and when we look at the side they're perfectly in line and the front they're in line. So we now need to link these two together so we're going to link to the bottom wall and we're going to attach it the bottom wall. So they're now linked and attached to the wall. Not quite sure exactly, I'm sure somebody can explain that. So now we have our two walls, we need to uh, put some text on it. So we'll pick our first wall and we're going to launch Photoshop. So we can now put the 3D text on there. So I'm going to launch Photoshop. Right, so we're now in Photoshop and we have our JPEG, our wall that we want to put some text on. So what I'm going to do is put some text on it. Start off with 3D. Text. So we have 3D text. And we need to position that, make it bigger. So uh, free transform, holding down shift will make it jump. We want it to be square as it were. And I'm just going to fit that text on. Try and make it fill as much of the wall as possible. I mean, this is up to you, do what you like. There we go. So I'm just going to save this back for iClone file save as and I'm going to save it as a JPEG and find the correct name is double O yes there we go overwrite it okay we just need to come back to iClone and just update that material so we have the word 3D text the next stage is to put some Opticity on it, so we're actually going to make all the, the sort of rest of the wall disappear. So it's back to Photoshop, and at this point, we need to make uh, an opticity layer. And iClone likes anything that's black will not be seen, anything that's white will be seen. And so at the moment, we now need to uh, add another layer to create this opticity image that we're going to create. So I add a new layer. Okay, so now we need to select our 3D text area. I'm going to select a color range, select black. So at the moment we've got all the, the, the letters selected, and I want to invert that because I want to make the background black so iClone will allow it to be transparent. So select invert, and just to show you what's going to happen, I'm just going to turn off the 3D text layer and come to our new layer and we're going to fill that with the colour black so there we go, I've filled it now we need to save it save as and at this point save it somewhere where you're going to find it easily so I'm going to save it to the desktop
There you go. So now come back to iClone and click on the opticity and we need to just bring in that opticity and the reason why we did that in Photoshop rather than launching is because we can't launch and we have to load a file. So I'm gonna 3D to get a preview. And there we go, we've got a see-through background. So we now move on to our next block. Um, this time we can launch. So we launch Photoshop and it brings in the next wall. Important here to keep, preserve the last wall. We're going to be using that in this wall, as it were. So what we now need to do is add some more text here. So we're just going to actually create a new layer okay and then while we're on that layer we're going to bring in the text from the first image so let's just get that working so I'm just going to drag that into this image position it what this does is preserve the size of our font so it will be the same on each wall so all we have to do now is edit the text to something else so we just have to repeat that again for our second block I've done that in Photoshop and just update the material so back to Photoshop to create the um, transparency layer There we have our 3D text make it and what we can do now is use that in iClone to animate, move around, you could use it for uh, video titling. So let's just move that around a bit. Let's try and do a, 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 a Star Wars style. intro movie there we go the timeline down a bit there we go Let's see what happens when we play it There you go. So that's it. All we have to do now is export the movie and I'll add it to the end of this tutorial. Hope that helps.